Hey, what's up guys? So, I really want to get this project going. Um, I thought I was going to be able to, you know, start actually building it out and painting the chassis and stuff. But not being able to overclock that CPU very much on this motherboard just kind of um, stalled me out on the whole project. So what I did is uh, I went on eBay and I found myself a new motherboard to order up. And I I bought it. It took about ten days to get to me from Wisconsin, and I'm I know that's kind of far from California, but ten days is is crazy. And I feel like I I should leave a kind of a not a negative review on eBay, but ten days is crazy. I I can't believe it took so long. But I finally got it. Today's Saturday. I got it uh, yesterday in the mail. So um, we're gonna take a look at that motherboard right now. I'm kind of worried about this package. It's kind of abused a little bit. It really looks like it got beat up in the mail. And I'm also worried because um, it's heavy. And I think he, it came with a heat sink and everything. And I think he might have just like left it on the board. So I don't know how bad it's been um, bounced around in the mail and stuff. But we're going to open up that motherboard right now. And hopefully, um, from what I read, it's a lot better board than this and I should be able to get a pretty good overclock and um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to install that motherboard um, with this little bit of RAM that we have and the Athlon chip and see exactly what the difference is with that motherboard I also have um, 8 gigabytes of RAM coming in the mail I ordered that from China like 15 days ago and it's finally here in America. So it just showed up in uh, in LA yesterday. So I should have that in the next few days. And um, then we'll go ahead and put that eight gigabytes of RAM in, in the new motherboard and test that out too. So hopefully with the with um, a new motherboard where I can overclock um, the CPU to like you know 3.8, maybe even hopefully push it to four. That'd be awesome. And uh, then we'll be able to run this. RX 560 at um, hopefully you know full full bore you know what I mean I don't want to be bottlenecking this card very much so let's go ahead and open up this motherboard and check it out see what we got so when I was on eBay I was you know looking at quite a few different motherboards and um, there were some that were a little prettier you know what I mean like this this one over here has like that you know gold colored PCB and stuff and uh, I saw a couple that were like black PCBs or a little bit newer but they're still AM2 and 2 plus boards but um, they didn't have as good of like after researching on the internet and stuff they didn't have as good of um, you know specs and stuff people talking about how they, they were able to overclock good stuff so, oh this is actually in the in the real uh, the box crazy so there it is the M3 A78 EM wow so it's got support for 100 watt CPU 140 watt excuse me so I can do all the um, phenoms and all that stuff without having a, any issues this other board um, I'm pretty sure when I read on it it had only a 95 watt limit it's um, a pretty decent board so let's check it out the one thing I haven't said is uh, how much I got it for and with shipping and everything it was forty seven dollars so I know that sounds like kind of a lot but when you're talking about old motherboards and stuff um, it's not too bad I mean forty seven bucks is forty seven bucks look at this guy he didn't he didn't do any kind of wrapping. He didn't. He didn't put any kind of bubble wrap or nothing. Just freaking again the the coolers on there and everything. Uh, comes with the I/O. Comes. With, look at that dirty fan. Jeez. <laughs> I I don't know. When I ship stuff on eBay, I think I might go a little bit overboard. But I just want to make sure that everything is nice and solid and protected. Comes with the user guide and all that stuff, which doesn't really matter all that much. Let's pull it out of here. Wow. 
Oh my god, this guy. Uh, all the fucking front panel pins and stuff are all bent over. Look at that. Crushed. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter all that much since it's a little extension thing, but still. <laughs> Alright. He didn't clean it at all. It's just still got all the dust and dirt in there. Let's go ahead and take off this cooler. See that cooler? It's got the heat pipes and everything versus this little crappy one over here. You know, it's just got a little aluminum block, and this one's a much beefier setup right here. All he did was uh, pop the fan right off the top of it and packaged it up. I <laughs> uh, wonder if there's a CPU in here. It actually didn't list a CPU. But, um, oh yeah, there is a CPU. Let's see. Huh. Let me get some uh, rubbing alcohol. Let's see. Oh, it's got a phenom chip in it. I can't believe it's got a a nice phenom chip in it. An HD ninety seven fifty. Pretty cool. Well, the reason why I got this board mainly is because it's got um, four RAM slots. It's got lots of um, SATA ports and stuff like that. Um, actually, I didn't realize that the board is kind of a you know dark brown chocolate, almost a, almost a black, and all the ports back here are pretty nice. I mean, it's got the um, I guess I think that's an infrared audio or something like that. Uh, it's got a HD, I mean, um, Display Port. It's got HDMI. You know, it's got the power um, USB and uh, eSATA and uh, FireWire, so it's a pretty it's a pretty good board. I was willing to pay forty seven bucks for it, and I didn't even know it had a CPU in it, so I'm happy with that. But um, when I was looking up the specs for this board, um, it does support AM2 Plus chips, the second generation Phenom chips, and it supports up to sixteen gigabytes of uh, DDR2. So that's an awesome thing. And it looks in, like it's in pretty good condition. The only thing that sucks is that he, he smashed these during shipping. That can either be pulled off like that and just use these, or I, I'll bend those back into shape maybe and, and still use it. So there it is, the new board. I can't believe it's got a Phenom chip in it. That makes me pretty happy. And um, I'll be pulling that board out on this one over here and putting this one in see how well it goes so stay tuned for that i'll be posting that video soon